okay so in this question it is given to us that if sin a plus cos a is taken to be m and sec a plus cos a k is taken as n then we have to show that this relation is true n into m square minus 1 is equal to 2m right so let us start with lhs in lhs we already have n into m square minus 1 we also know the values of m and n so just substitute these values in our LHS and then let us see whether it comes out to be equal to 2m or not okay so n what is n n is sec a plus cos a k right and what is m square m square let us first calculate m square separately so m square will become sin a plus cos a whole square now if you open this bracket you will get sin square a plus cos square a plus 2 sin a cos a but sin square a plus cos square is equal to 1 which means that m square should become equal to 1 plus 2 sin a cos a correct so let us remember this expression and let us use this expression in this case so what will happen your m square minus 1 m square minus 1 will come m square is what 1 plus 2 sin a cos a but this is just m square minus 1 correct so this is our LHS portion so here first thing that you can see is 1 is getting cancelled in the second bracket right in first bracket let us convert sec and cosec into cos and sin okay so sec is what sec is nothing but 1 upon cos a and cosec cosec is nothing but 1 upon sin a right and let us leave the second bracket as it is 2 sin a cos a if you take LCM in the first bracket what will happen you will get sin a plus cos a upon sin a cos a this is the result after LCM and you also have multiplication of 2 sin a cos a so if you see your sin a cos a is getting cancelled from numerator and denominator also your first bracket is what your first bracket is sin a plus cos a and sin a plus cos a is already given to you as m so let us use this value so you are left with what m in the first bracket and 2 in the second bracket so overall value is what 2m which is also equal to your rhs hence proved 